One of the more defensively focused shields in the game, the Force Shield is an interesting one. The original version of it was one that you were intended to just hold up and had absolutely nothing to do with trying to parry with it at all. The reworked one, and by reworked I mean reworked as of what, like two years ago at this point, means that you can now hold it out to give yourself an invincibility barrier. And it is based on a timer. The charges that you have on the shield do basically represent how long it's going to last, but that can be recharged slowly over time or very quickly if you are getting parries with it. It's an interesting shield because it is one that is largely based around using the mechanic of holding out the shield, which is something that, I don't know, I don't really use too often, but certainly could be very useful in some circumstances. Uh, there are points like, you know, just using passive items like the Mushroom Boy that I got out here where I can just, you know, let him do all the work while I'm sitting in the background being completely invincible. Uh, there are, of course, like, you know, any sort of turret is going to be very good with this. Same thing with, like, the the uh, Death Orb I, I can see myself getting a lot of usage out of. However, it's just... I don't know. If I was going to take a very defensively focused shield, I would more often than not go for a Rampart instead, because it doesn't require you to hold out a shield and stand perfectly still. I don't know. It's, uh... It's certainly also got just, like, a lot of very good uses over the course of the game, especially with bosses, because many bosses have very big attacks that you want to be completely invincible for. Talking, like, uh, trying to get, like, the... Uh, Telluric Shock attack from the Hand of the King would be very nice to have the shield for. Stuff like the, I don't know, the Golf Swing from the Timekeeper, when the, the Scarecrow starts throwing around mushrooms, and of course the Bullet Hell attack, maybe the most notable one of them all. Just having something where you can sit down and be completely invincible for a couple seconds is very, very good. Also, if you're uh, kind of unsure on like the enemy, uh, the timing for like enemy attacks in the game, the ability to be invincible for that is also pretty nice. You don't really have to second guess yourself or anything like that. Just kind of uh, on demand invincibility. However, I don't know the whole like the whole problem with the charges and waiting for them to regen up. If you're unsure about like the parry timing for stuff, might be might make that a little less uh, a little less you know tempting to actually want to use it at any point in time. That said, it's just like I do think that. What I'm probably going to want to go for is, yeah, just trying to get, like, a bunch of passive items. Really, I mean, I've already been letting Mushroom Boy in a lot of recent runs do a lot of work. But, hey, this one, I, I think with this item in particular, it's really justified. It's just one that works really well with his particular set of skills. What can I say? And aside from that, uh, I don't know. It's like a good ranged weapons, any sort of good colorless weapons could be very useful. Maybe even like tonic to give myself even more uh, defensiveness. No, I think I want to go fully offensive if I'm taking a very defensive shield. Yeah, maybe something like the Scarecrow Sickles. As you know, the Scarecrow Sickles, if you get into the right position, they'll just fly around you infinitely. And that means that if I can stay invincible while that's happening, I don't even need to move to accidentally pick those things up. It could be some quite good synergy. I don't know. It's hard to say. I'm going to kind of play this one by ear and see if chat has anything to say in terms of uh, good builds that I should be going for right now. Yes, Mushroom Boy, my actual human. Son. I know. I know. I use it a lot. I use him a lot, but that's because he's a very, very good boy who does good damage and also does good knockback, too, which is just useful by itself. I mean, not, not with every single weapon, of course, if you... If you're really trying to rely on a... Aha! If you're really trying to rely on, like, a heavy uh, melee weapon that would... Having... Reducing your range and everything be kind of a problem. That, yeah, is not great. However, as it is, it's like... This is a weapon based around staying still and not getting hit. I cannot believe I got hit so much, speaking of which. Uh, it's... It's a match made in heaven. What can I say? Eh, Kamikaze Mushroom Boy, never. Actual human son. I would never do that to my actual human son. It's aw that the, the thing you just suggested is horrible and you should be ashamed of yourself. They reduced the explosion da uh, explosive damage? Well, I'll never find out. <laughs> I'll put the, I'll, I'll throw that one out right now. I will never find out if they've reduced the explosion damage. You heartless monsters. Now then. <laughs> 
Besides, it also does put him on a pretty hefty cooldown, so I don't really want to do that just by itself. As it is, let's go into the Arboretum. I don't know. I mean, there's no reason for that. I mean, technically, this weapon is actually gotten from the... I keep wanting to call them, like, pustulant zombies, but they're not. They're the uh, the guys that throw uh, worms at you in the sewers. That's where you, you get the shield if you're looking for it yourself. Still sacrificing the Mama Tick? No, no, I, 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 we, we don't talk about that. Anyway... Look, we're not going to... Don't tell Mushroom Boy that he's going to be sacrificed. Come on. Anyway, uh, anything else that would be good here? I mean, I don't think there's anything that's going to give you... Would, actually, does double ammo work for the shield? I don't really... It's technically not ammo in the traditional sense, but... No. Doesn't actually work. That's unfortunate. I guess I'll just keep it for right now. Maybe... It's just not showing. Nope, it does not work for that. Ah, well, uh, quite unfortunate. Relaxing Doc refusing to kill his child, uh, refusing to kill his child to file taxes slash relax to. I still gotta file my taxes. Never want to because I actually have to pay them. You know, making all that big YouTube money. Gotta give Uncle Sam his cut. I make like a hundred dollars a month at best. Anyway, <laughs> in case you were ever wondering about that. Ah, oh, God. Especially now that it's just been Isaac all, all the time, every time. Look, look, just be happy that I have broken myself away from playing Binding of Isaac for five seconds to actually play a little bit of Dead Cells. Because I'm going to be honest, I can feel the pull of it right now. The Isaac is calling. I had a good Keeper run going in this very stream, no less. I could get back there at any point in time and just continue it on. No, 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 no. We're doing Dead Cells right now. We're doing Dead Cells right now. No, I did like that somebody saying in the last episode that there's so much stuff that's like, oh, hey, this is a, a you know, a game I really love, near and dear to my heart. Uh, let's talk about some, like, some strategy and, you know, things I love about it. While well, the game, of course, is just big explosive diarrhea sounds over and over and over every couple of seconds. It's, uh, it's the real uh, dichotomy of man. <laughs> I hate that item. I hate diarrhea item. Anyway, I hate diarrhea in that game. There's too much of it. That's what I say. Wait. Here's a good time to use the shield. Yep. Uh, okay. Now I can't use the shield anymore. Still can use uh, traditional parries and everything with this. So, I mean, I might as well if I can. And then just... I don't... Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I get, like, the uh, benefit from... Yeah. I don't think I get, like, the benefit from, like, a poisoning enemies, for example, with this if they're hitting the invincibility shield would be something that I would actually like to see with this weapon. Pretty much if I was going to suggest anything with this weapon, I, I guess I really can't say too much. I don't really use it too often. But uh, it, it, it's like if I was going to ever say anything about this this weapon in particular, I would like it if it, the invincibility thing... Like I said, one of the big issues is like the whole standing still to make it, to make it actually work and everything. If you could just like toggle it on and off, I think I would probably end up using this a lot more, because then it would just have like the same sort of utility as using the the rampart, which gives you invincibility whenever you get parries. But you know, the invincibility is not one where you have to continue to hold out the shield. The other thing, of course, would just be, I don't know, um, there was a second thing that I already forgot. I'm sorry, everybody, I have failed you as a commentator and as a person who plays video games. Maybe I'll remember it. Just give me a sec. No, no that was my mushroom boy. Anyway. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Like, basically make it be like the um, cocoon or something, where it actually gives you the the benefits of the shield when enemies attack you while you're invincible. Because it's like, as of right now, it doesn't even stop the rampages from doing anything. I think that that would go a long way towards... Ooh. Ooh. I'm okay. I think that would go a long way towards uh, really convincing me to use this a lot more. Like I said, it's like it's an interesting idea. It's a weapon. It, it's a weapon intended for you to hold out the shield, not go for parries. Parries obviously do give you benefit, but it's like it's it's the whole holding out of the shield, which is what the original um, weapon was back in the day and everything when they first introduced it. I remember that was the weapon that hijacked the um, second. Uh, ooh. Oh, no, I'm okay. Oh, that was the weapon that hijacked the second um, <laughs> shovel run. I should have started out pretending like this was going to be the shovel episode and then turn it right into the force shield. 
That would have been a good bit. But, uh... Yeah, it's like just because I got a particularly good one of those. Because I was so unsure of it actually even being halfway dis decent as far as weapon goes. And it's like... Uh, yeah, it's like the second that I saw that I could get a... Um, increased damage one of those. Like, just straight plus 300% damage. I just jumped on that opportunity. There we go. Give me that good heal. Also, uh, please ignore the part, the start of the stream where I forgot what button actually does the heal and assigned it to the wrong one until I decide to flip it back to being the uh, default controls. I've only played this game for 1,700 hours. I can't be expected to just instinctively know what all the buttons are. <laughs> Amulet seems to work with a force shield. Or, uh, does it? I, I, you know, I wasn't even, like, looking, but it didn't seem to, like, increase the amount of ammo that I was getting at all. That said, I guess I haven't really been paying too much attention. You know, ice shards? Maybe not too bad. Do we got anything oil-related? No. However, I do have you, which is perhaps somewhat oil-related if I find something a little bit later. I do love myself the rhythm, rhythm and bazooki. Good, good damage. Big, big area. Nice, fast swing and cool gimmick. It's like, hey... It's got it all, baby. Besides, it was also the original, um, it was also paired up with the original, uh, Mushroom Boy run, so I feel like, you know. See, like, look at that. Even as much as they have nerfed the damage over time, it's like, it's still, it's still rocking faces off like none other. Ah, what a good weapon. Anyway. Uh, he has the ammunition because he wanted to figure out if it does work, but it doesn't seem like it did. Yeah, I don't, I don't actually know, like... Maybe it was doing it secretly or something. That was kind of like my, uh... Rhythm and Bazooka is fast for a survival weapon. It's not that fast. Um, yeah, you know, I was wondering maybe if it was doing it, like, secretly, like, without actually showing it on the HUD, but I do not think that is the case. Yeah, see? The whole, like, passive damage thing of having a Mushroom Boy. It's like, there's some real strategy here. And again, going for, like, uh, some enemies with really annoying big, wide range hitting attacks. It's like, there's reasons why I'd want to use this, certainly. I just, I rarely ever do. What can I say? It's just, it is a weapon that, for some reason, I usually try to like use weapons, use different weapons as much as possible in a game if there's any chance that it could be useful in whatever way, except for force shield. Cause I swear, it's just like, yeah, there's good reason why it's appearing this late in the uh, showcase runs. I hate that. I hate that guy, too. Boys, I think this might be a time where I am going to end up doing the uh, old alienation strategy. Sorry to say. <laughs> might as well be getting killed. Oh, come on now. That's Look, a little bit of poor play here and there can be recovered from. It's not... It, this, this game might be very, very frustrating in terms of difficulty. It's not that bad. Yeah. Yo, what's up? We're doing force shield run today. I've been a little while since I've done a shield run. And it's like this... It's been a little while since I've used force shield, like, period. So this is... Like, I have high hopes. Look, especially with, like, weapons that I don't use very often, there's always that good chance of getting a nice, fun redemption arc. I don't know if this is quite it. It certainly has stuff. But really, it's just like... You know, I don't like the proactive shields. I like the reactive shields, where you go and you try and get that big old big parry damage, doing that right. Oh, there's a iron rod down there. No, I want to keep rhythm and bazooki. Like this item too much. Yeah, some high quality stuff. I don't, like I said, I do think that it's just like yeah, if I didn't know, if I didn't like instinctively know all of the timings for every single enemy in the game and like how to parry them, that it could probably be more useful just to like have that invincibility for kind of like learning how enemies are going to attack and everything. Just don't quite need that. How long did I play Isaac? I don't know. It was like ten minutes or something. It was not. It was not. It was not that long. Finally, the final scarecrow outfit, and maybe like. Uh, there's one more outfit. There's one more outfit in the game that I know I have yet to unlock, but if you know what that is. <laughs> like, if you know what that is, you know what that is. Uh, parrying, parry heal, heal mutation, fine, fine. Stop calling me a coward, I'll do it. 
Jeez. Ah. Keep hearing about Isaac. I guess I need to check it out. I mean, it is it is like one of the most notable uh, roguelites ever. I would say probably like the game maybe more than anything else. Hmm. Do I care about this? Uh, I'm going to keep it in the backpack for right now. Maybe I'll use it. Maybe not. I, I guess it does have good parry synergy. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, it's just like if you like roguelites as like they exist as a genre, you probably owe a lot to The Binding of Isaac in one way or another really is like the granddaddy for a lot of how that stuff works in a lot of ways. There we are. It is a super uneven and like especially confusing game at this point in time. It's been developed for like 10 years, but I'd recommend checking it out. I still very much enjoy it even to this day, especially as I've gotten this new DLC that's added a ton of extra content. So it's a beginner shield. I would, yeah. You know what? You know what? I would say that, yeah. If this is this is a shield that probably works best. Whoa! Not through the wall. Nice try, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those things can hit you through the wall, which is so frustrating. But hey, the game is how it is. <laughs> okay, man. I, I, f I felt like I was really just about to get hit there by that, which would have been extremely, extremely embarrassing. <laughs> like, oh, so very embarrassing to get killed by that, of all things. The backswing on a... The backswing on a spin. Not to say that it hasn't happened before. It definitely has. Like, I got like, just about any way that I could die in this game, I have. Oh, no, that's just... A, 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 <laughs> I can deal with the Undead Archer. <laughs> I don't have to go hug. Anything else down here? I don't know if I really want to fight these guys or if I would really rather just... Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And that'll do. <laughs> A little bit uneven. I didn't actually mean to fall off the side there, but I was able to recover from it just fine. No problem at all. Did you like how I didn't actually use the shield that entire time? Well, here, now I am. <laughs> ah, why? <laughs> Horrid. I had no idea that rogue lights were renamed to Isaac lights. They could be in some ways, to be honest. <laughs> Certainly, I would say Dead Cell shares a lot more DNA with the Binding of Isaac than it does with Rogue. <laughs> okay. There we are. Very nice. And I also have a big old hunk of cheese to uh, help me out when problems arise, as you know they will. Okay, you know what? Just uh, mushroom boy, please. Okay. <laughs> Certainly, it's like, again, for like a beginner, if, if you've never played the game before, stuff like just, hey, I'm about to get killed by this horrible, horrible slashy monster. Yeah. This, this sort of shield would definitely come in handy. <laughs> Stick that that idea out there right now. Come on, get back up here. Got my bazooki ready and primed. There we go. The big crits. You know, I just... Okay. They can weather quite a few hits, too, which is pretty nice. Um, anyway. <laughs> Didn't even stand a chance. Okay. Rogue is better than Isaac. I play, tried playing Rogue once. I gotta say, not a huge fan. Uh, like, needless to say, I preferred the games that it inspired. Uh, NetHack, Dungeon Crawl, Zangband, all that sort of stuff, rather than the OG one itself. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of history behind it, but, like, you know, I just... I think it's been improved on. Crusher, very much passive damage. I think that will work quite well in this run. Could use another version of... Yeah, good. You know what? In fact, this is probably a good time for it right now. Well... <laughs> Man, I was just talking about the... Um, I was just talking about the... the the shovel run and I found a legendary force shield much like I did back in the shovel run which turned into the force shield run what a time to be alive 
Double? No, we're not doing double. That is that is nonsense. That is that makes no sense at all. What are you even talking? I mean, look, here's the thing. If we want to go full on meme mode, this possibility is still there. As you know, I can just go find another one of the shields. So if y'all are really gonna start calling me a coward or whatever, we can do it. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Nah. I think was eating chicken and fried rice or Boston Market chicken parmesan. I guess I would say Boston Market chicken parmesan, but I'll be real with you, I very much do like fried rice. It's my favorite way of making rice. Well, using rice that I have left over, basically. You just throw anything in, that, in, in, in a pot like that. However, chicken parmesan, pretty good. Yes, keep blasting them with the sound of music. By the way, I'm pretty sure that I just parried an enemy on the back swing? Like, they were behind me? That was weird. I don't think I've ever seen that before, but yeah. There we are. That was the sort of strategy that I was planning to do, with, especially with having the Crusher there. Just kind of get in there, let the invincibility do its filthy, disgusting, horrible work. Mostly because of the poison. I mean, of course, it poisons the enemies when I hit them, which is pretty good. It's not something that I am opposed to at all. Because it's certainly um, buffing out my damage quite a bit. Yeah. I still got that big old hunk of cheese. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, because I actually missed the crusher on that one. So my whole, like, combo didn't really work out quite in the way that I was hoping it would. <laughs> Fun stuff. Anyway. Pretty sure I played most of the Castlevania games. Has an Aria of Sorrow. Uh, Aria of Shadow. It's Aria of Sorrow. Um, but, yeah, it's like I have played most of the Castlevania games. Uh, Castlevania 1, 2, 3. Uh, played Super Castlevania 4. Dawn of Sorrow, Aria of Sorrow, Portrait of Ruin, uh, Order of Ecclesia. Uh, have I played any more Castlevania games? Oh, and Kid Dracula, of course. <laughs> of course! Why wouldn't you play Kid Dracula? <laughs> Give me that. Castlevania 64? I have not played Castlevania 64. Oh, wait! Uh, Circle of the Moon. Can't forget about that one, as well as Harmony of Distance. Er, no, not Harmony of Distance. What was the what was the one with Eust Belmont? I also played that one. I, I played all the, the uh, GBA games, basically. <laughs> yeah, I don't need any of these. No Symphony of the Oh, yeah, I did play Symphony of the Night. Yeah, I shouldn't forget about that one. I gotta say, not my favorite Castlevania compared to a lot of them. It's just like, it's, it's good, but, like, it's not it's not my favorite. But, like, yeah, it, does the shield protect you from sewer water? I think that's pretty... Wait. I don't know. <laughs> that's a good question. I wanted to say that it was pretty comprehensive, but I think, like, bleed and poison effects... Well, poison effects, that's kind of the only one. Uh, don't actually work with that. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, were there any other any other ones? I had Dracula X, uh, but I never I never played through that one. I never finished it. Um. Yeah. No, I really like the Castlevania games. I they're all. I mean, of course, I also played through Bloodstained on the channel. You can find the vods for that if you're looking for them. Uh, also played through Time Spinner on the channel, another very, very Castlevania-inspired game. That was pretty fun. Um, anything else that was, like, very Castlevania, like, explicitly Castlevania-inspired? I know, ah, should have just held out the shield. That would have been a good time for that. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I did play Blas Blasphemous. That's true. That is, that is also a very, very, yeah, that... The, the whole, like, gothic art style, I think, is very comparable to that. I played Bloodborne on the channel. I guess technically not a Castlevania game, but, I mean, you get into Castle Kanehurst and tell me that there's not comparisons to be made. I'm just going to keep parrying until I get it back all my health, basically. Also, I'm going to bring back out my Mushroom Boy. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. All right. N64 was a cool version, but it's a nightmare uh, today. Well, and by its time, too, the camera is an abomination. And that's N64 games. You know, Castlevania 64 actually kind of has an interesting history because Symphony of the Night was supposed to originally be sort of like 
the side game that they were working on as they were working on the actual, you know, the big game, Castlevania 64. Like that was their that was their like tiny side project. And it's like look look at look at how history judges that now. It's funny to think. Alright. Yeah, Rhythm and Bazooki doing pretty good. Unfortunately the shield. Not doing a whole lot for me right now. Castlevania 64. I mean, it was supposed to be the big one. Needless to say, history had different. Ah, there we go. Okay, there was actually like good usage out of the um, invincibility shield. All right, there we are. There we are. There we are. Oh yeah, in a Hollow Knight. I don't know. I would say, damn it, really? It killed? Did it bypass my um? I I got I had disengagement there. What the hell? Well, that was a horribly embarrassing death. I guess my uh. My uh, disengagement was not um, quite at the right, Was the health was not at the right level for that. Uh, well, I'll start right back up at the uh, curse chest here. Still one, still exactly one um, potion charge down, but it's something that I can fix pretty easily compared to dying, which is not an easy fix at all. Now then, here's the point in time where it just, you know, the, the, the point of this whole thing was that I was going to get the Dancer into the uh, the Crusher, but hey, at least I didn't take any damage, so what can I even say? That's kind of a, a reward in itself. Needless to say, especially with, a, with this weapon in particular, not generally well suited for dealing with... In fact, it's very much not well suited for dealing with that, so I got this boy's axe. Why not? <laughs> um... Can I not put the giant killer in a backpack, or is there just weird um, errors going on here? Uh, whatever, I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it back later. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. A little bit of range never hurt anybody except for my enemies. Oh, come on now! Quickly before it starts summoning stuff. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Those are always the scariest enemies with uh, the higher. Higher malaise and dealing with their horrible shenanigans. Ah, also noticing that that wasn't a, was a little bit larger of a drop off than I thought. Yeah. Get. Stop getting and just do it. <laughs> I'm so close. Here we go. All right. Now then. A big hunk of cheese as well. I think everything should be at a good position for me to not die now. Now then. What else? I mean, I'd like to get the uh, Mushroom Boy back if possible. I got this Fire Grenade, but to be honest, it's like, that's not that good or anything. Certainly, there's better stuff here. I mean, yeah, Powerful Grenade is always pretty good, but that's not really something that works well with the whole, like, weapon du jour that I'm trying to show off here. Nah, no, I think, like, Mushroom Boy keeping the Crusher is going to be the best idea. After all, Shop RNG. Oh, the Shop RNG is not that bad. Although I do miss when um, the more particular, better versions, gah, better versions of the uh, the uh, merchandise categories, those certainly did make it a lot easier to get the weapons that I was looking for, especially in runs like this. Okay, I gotta go switch back to the uh, giant killer already. Certainly, it would be pretty useful right now. Of course, still not getting. Anything that's giving me just two survival. It's the only thing I need. And it's the thing it refuses to give me. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, as always, there is just like, yeah, custom mode is usually the way to go if you're going to be... I guess you just can't put Giant Killer in the backpack for some reason. Weird. Uh, anyway, yeah, just custom mode is usually the way to go if you really want to make sure that RNG is not going to uh, be giving you a real fun, wacky run. <laughs> Which I understand. I mean, like, legitimately, I kind of need that to happen as I'm doing this run right now if I want to even see the shield in the first place. So cool. It's so you just can't switch it, swap it out for bosses. Well, yeah, but it's like, I, whatever. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, but that's, like, why is that? Why shouldn't I be able to do that? <laughs> Motion twin. Nah. The game's against you in terms of stats. I mean, at least for right now. I haven't found like a challenge rifter or like extra cursed chest. Although let's be honest, it's like do I really? I mean, you know, that's a, that's a, that is a literal blessing and curse at the same time, as you know. Extra stats though. What can I say? Yeah. 
Now then, 20,000. I think I do want to heal, though, with this first, and then... Well, I mean, there's a good chance I could have probably found more food, especially that I've taken guests... Yeah, we did it, baby. We did it, Reddit. <laughs> I, I bought food and then I talked about how I shouldn't have bought that food the second that I found food. <laughs> it's it's amazing. I don't even know what else to say. <laughs> right, take you out before fun times happen. God, it never lasts for as long as I want to. <laughs> anyway. Okay, at this point in time, I should really just try to be uh, parrying some enemies here and there. Just for the sake of... Uh, getting a little bit of health back from that alone. <laughs> yep, yep. It's not working out super good. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. I love to take out fit changes colors with the crits. Actually, a surprising amount of uh, weapons do change as you're attacking. It's a. It's a weird thing that doesn't really come up too often. But there's stuff like the. It's a lot more often that you see it with the. The. Uh, festive outfit, especially. Where you can really uh, notice the the alterations of the colors of it. Everything's got its own power glow, as you know. It's a very uh, Dead Cells thing. Couldn't really tell you why, but... It's like, and that glow can differ on the circumstances. Ah. Ah, nope. There. There. Yeah, most outfits have something, but it's like... It's only with um, stuff like uh, this outfit that you can really notice it easily. Anyway, uh, Giant Killer. Giant Killer is like, yeah, it does bad damage against anything that's not a giant or, you know, powerful enemy. But it's like, it doesn't do that bad a damage. I don't know, having that sort of uh, level of, hmm, talking about passive damage. Fortunately, that does mean that I'm not, there's no way I'm going to be able to afford the, the potion charge at this point. Oh, that's fine, though. Still, it's just like here. Can use skills. Oh, did you see that? Yo, did you see that right there? The uh, the tracker actually was pushed up onto the platform with me when I used the giant's whistle. <laughs> that's a... Uh, uh, getting an express ticket right up there. Anyway. <laughs> well, funny, it's not really something that's going to help me too much. Anyway, you can use skills while having the shield so it's just like, you know, makes it a little bit easier to use stuff like the Giant Killer, especially. Or, you know, really any any um, weapon or skills at all should be very usable with this. Like, go get myself in a uh, corner, put out the shield, and then just go get... Okay. If you'll excuse me, like, one second, please. Oh, God. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, again, there's some good, there are some good use, uh, use cases for this uh, shield, certainly. I don't think anybody's going to argue this fact. God damn it. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on. Get back over here. We're almost done. I'm almost done dealing with your malarkey. Yeah, there. <laughs> now then, punch it. Punch it indeed. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Now then, where's that? Where's that cherry? <laughs> Please. Ah, is there a way to get the uh, recharge bar on the shield to charge faster? Yes, uh, through parries. If you get parries, it'll charge a lot faster. But that's that's pretty much the only way that you're looking at in the game. It's not the easiest thing. Uh, now you have me saying a reference that I don't even know. I'm going to be honest. I don't remember enough of what happened in the last couple minutes to even remember the reference that I made. <laughs> it could be something. Could be nothing. Could be something that I just made. Oh, punch it. <laughs> yes, the the reference specifically to the, uh, the Super Best Friends play, uh, the Prison Break series. Where there was a guy in the in the the yard of the of the prison that you could train punching with, and he would always go punch it, you punch it. <laughs> it's you have to see a clip of it because it's just like I can't do the I can't do the voice acting justice. I'll be honest. Yeah. 
now, then. I should really just use a potion charge again at this point in time. Considering how embarrassingly bad it's going. Oh, okay. Hello, bird streamer. Hello, bird watcher. That's my... Well, I guess that's what my fans of me are called now. You're all called bird watchers. I'm sorry. That just happened. <laughs> oh, well. Look, I didn't want it to be this way, but that's... That's what it is. Sometimes inspiration strikes you, even when you don't want it to. Not what I wanted to hit, I'm going to be honest. Uh, anyway. You are the father of family, guys. Same voice. First off, that is a like very clear uh, East Coast accent in, in Family Guy. And I'm from the Midwest. And second off, I don't know, I feel like uh, Seth MacFarlane has a much better <laughs> voice than me. I'll be honest. I know he's going to get out of here. And... Yeah, okay. Wow. I was worried for a second there. But anyway. Now then. Uh, make your channel the money... Make your channel money bird seed. I guess. Right now, what? It's Miku Bucks? Because <laughs> of memes that I... Because of old memes that I haven't even like referenced in quite a while, in fact? Go talk about Hatsune Miku again and have some fun with her. <laughs> I'll go get a I'll go get a Domino's pizza right now and I'll have a good time. Uh, actually, I do want to continue over here. Now then, Miku bucks are lacking as of recent. Yeah, I gotta go do something else for that. Maybe like what I should do is uh, instead of like you know force me to play a game, which is what it was in the past, because you know games take a long time to play. I don't know if you noticed this sort of thing. I should just be like, force me to watch a piece of media and then review it on a Dead Cells episode. So it's like, uh, okay, so I watched next four episodes of Madoka Magica now. Um, yeah, it's good. I really like the art style in that show. <laughs> that sort of thing. Anyway, ah. I gotta get out of here already. All right. If it helps if you don't only play Dead Cells and Isaac. I'm, I, look, I was just talking about how Crossco should be out soon enough. The Binding of Isaac has me in its horrible iron grasp. I am, I'm, I'm dying in here, and it, it's just a lot of farts. So many farts. Please save me from the Isaac Abyss. But nobody saved me from the Isaac Abyss. Anyway, I uh, look forward to the next episode coming out. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to go. There's no way I'm going to be able to... Uh, Ah. Ooh, what are we showcasing? It is the Force Shield today. Which, uh, it's, I gotta say, yeah, I'm not using it to its fullest extent. I should probably get, like, a little bit more. Like, th there's more stuff I should be doing with it. But at the same time, it's like, hey, it's, it's definitely a solid shield. Anime game is better than farts? Wait, which one? Persona 5? No, Persona 5 is, is Persona 5 is not, look, everybody. Persona 5 is not a game I play because I enjoy it. It's a game I play because I am... It is an albatross around my neck that I cannot get away from until I finish it. <laughs> anyway. I very much hate that game. But I cannot stop it until it's complete. It's just the truth of the matter. Okay. I was showing my real face there. Yeah, we all have our faces. Some are silk and some are leather. Have you ever seen the faces of your lover? I don't even have it in me anymore to make references to Billy Joel right now. Not after we just talked about Persona. <laughs> Oh. Anyway, what well, I don't there was no point in even doing that. I don't even know why I tried so hard to try and get like the showcase of the whatever. It doesn't matter. I thought you completed the main story. Got to complete the main story of the game. <clears throat> so, uh in Persona 5, there is there are seven palaces as well as an end game. Uh the most recent one finished was the fourth palace. That was in, like, episode 65 or something. 
Anyway. So, yeah. No. <laughs> I'm not I'm not done. Not done at all. <laughs> like I'm not even remotely close to done with that game. How many hours do I have on Persona 5? It's impossible to tell because I've got because you would have to add up the hours from Persona 5 uh Japanese Persona 5. Persona 5 The Royal, and Japanese Persona 5 The Royal. And then it's just like, I don't know how you would like measure the amount of time that I spent doing the transcripts and the, the transcripts and the uh, like captioning and everything like that. It's probably in like literally the thousands of hours I spent on the game. There we go. No, palaces are the main story of the game. And like I said, there are seven palaces, each representing a de deadly sin extremely loosely. <laughs> like, I'm going to say right now, extremely loosely. I think Futaba's was supposed to be like the Palace of Wrath? Didn't make any sense. Why is it so hard to admit that you like it? I want you to go watch episode 70 right now and tell me that I like that game. <laughs> anyway. Oh, uh, yeah, needless to say, not really too much I could do there with the uh, shield in this one, at least. Each representing a difference in that of greed. Uh, no, um, uh, Kamoshida was lust. Uh, Madarame was vanity, envy, pride? I don't know, like, uh, whatever. Uh, Kaneshiro was greed, of course. And then Futaba was Wrath, I guess? I don't know, Wrath? There's no vanity. That's like Envy. That would be Envy. <laughs> perfect fight. I did not get a perfect fight because I was trying to use the shield in the middle of it. <laughs> totally different. Uh, oh, I love this outfit, but I never get to use it for like any... Um, for whatever reason, whenever I try to use it for like a, a video, I usually tend to like eat that episode into the void. Still, I love the like um, CMYK color scheme of it. One of the uh, one of the the incomplete one outfits. Anyway, we win Risk of Rain two. I beat Risk of Rain two on Eclipse mode. Only Eclipse mode one, of course. But like, how much more do you want from me on that? Give me an upgrade for my shield. Finally. No, I mean I said there's an end game. It's like, yeah, it's not just the seven palaces. There's also some sort of end game. I don't know what it is exactly, but I'm sure it'll be disappointing, whatever it is. Beat it with all the characters? No, I beat it with one character. That was the entire point of the series. <laughs> to beat it with a single character, which I did. I don't know. I don't know, like, what else you could possibly want with it. Now then, I 100% at Risk of Rain 2 and haven't touched it since. I mean, that's going to eventually happen when I'm playing um, Binding of Isaac, certainly. Because it's just like there's a certain point where I'm just like, oh, you know, after after I get... I'm, I'm a very goal-focused type of person when playing video games. I, it's like I like to I like to accomplish stuff. I like to work towards, like, larger goals. I'm not a big fan of just, like, playing them for the sake of... Playing a game for the sake of playing a game. I don't know. I don't know why. Just, like, not, not really... So it's like Terraria, for example. Once I beat the Moon Lord, I was just kind of like, eh, I'm done. Uh, with, you know, Binding of Isaac, it's going to be like once I finish all the, the completion marks, I'm probably just going to yeah, be finished with that. Dead Cells is an interesting game because, of course, it's like I'm doing this series here. I'm do I actually haven't 100% of Dead Cells because there is one very difficult thing that you can do in it, but I haven't done that yet. Could probably finish it up though if I really work towards it. But it's like you know this series as it is is kind of like the equivalent of me doing 100%, where it's like, hey, I'm I'm showcasing all of the items, uh, from the ones that I use all the time to the ones that are you know kind of rarely seen. This one, <laughs> this one right here. But it's like uh. After this point, it's like, I don't know. There's also this whole thing where it's like, I like also just doing the whole, like, there's like the whole, like, a uh, casual chit-chatting aspect of it that I also think is a lot of fun, too. We get fun conversation. We have fun around here in Dead Cells Land. It's like, I don't want to give that up, either. 
even if technically once I finish with all the weapons, Dead Cells is going to be done. <laughs> podcast time yeah that's when i'll go get the second guy that i do like a persona series with and, and we'll just do like that regularly talk about pizzas and whatnot <laughs> talk about uh what type of salmon dips we like the most me a little bit of cream cheese a little bit of uh garlic and um of course uh, smoked salmon smoked salmon i don't think regular salmon works super well in dips i mean i, I guess i haven't really tried uh, anyway, what are we talking about here? Oh, yeah. Ron's going okay. Would still like to buy, of course, the potion charge if I could. But this is, again, like, the good opportunity for just complete invincibility. Yeah. Get these guys right in here. And deal with them just fine. That's, that's like, the general plan when it comes to actually making the, you know, what you could call, like, the skill rotation work for me. Surprised I did not get stunned there slamming down that far. Opinion on garlic butter in general? I think, um, basically I would eat pretty much anything if it was sautéed with, uh, garlic and butter. So, I, I like it. I'm gonna say I like it right now. Like, so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is an avid Dark Souls uh, supporter. Games are not meant to be fun. I mean, it's... Uh, fun is a subjective term, certainly. I mean, I do think that there's, like, almost more than anything else, especially when I play a game like this, it's more that I feel, like, an intense, like, sense of pride when I'm able to accomplish something. It's like, I wouldn't even really say that it's, like, you know, fun, but it's a positive feeling. Am I alone in this? <laughs> Uh, Persona 5 limited time. Hey, like, legit, I would eat the LeBlanc curry because it looks baller, but I'm not. it doesn't mean that the game's good. Hey, what's there? Oh, is that the piece of food on the ground? Looks weird. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, anyway. Pride and... Yeah, the phrase pride and accomplishment, I feel like, has something of a different meaning, even as old as that, uh, that reference is. <laughs> But you you know what I'm saying though, right? <laughs> right in a college. <laughs> yeah, that's a reference to um oh, I can't even, like some EA game that they purposely made it harder to like grind out its loot box aspect nonsense because they wanted to make sure the ki the the players had a sense of pride and accomplishment when they played it. <laughs> that's not what I'm talking about though. Not the same thing. <laughs> Yeah, it's Pride and Prejudice. That's how I feel. It's like I, I get a real sense of Pride and Prejudice. There we are. Oh, all me and my homies hate EA. Don't we? I mean, it's just like... Even when they do stuff I like, I still hate them. Man. It's the dichotomy of, of man and being a AAA publisher. There we are. I, I like the Sims. I like the new Sims games. They got some good stuff. I like legit. I have seriously considered playing a Sims game. Like probably you know the whatever the latest one is right now. Still Sims Four. But like, you know, what was that Battlefront? Oh boy, Battlefront is also like a game that oh, has some problems with it too. So making it even harder is like uh, ugh. hard to do stuff in that game. No potion charge, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't know. Well. Oh, uh, let's go fight the timekeeper. Like I said, the uh, golf swing attack should be pretty well countered by this shield in particular. I mean, so would it just a regular parry. I don't know. Let's just do it. Oh, man. Oh, man. I live off the dopamine. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 so weird because it's just like you know, even doing like the, the the videos and everything, it's just like I wouldn't describe it as fun, but like it's it's like you know, when I eventually finish this series, it's gonna be like, you know, I I, I put I put like a I, I I put like a little um a perfect figurine that says all of the dead cells weapons in my glass menagerie, and I look at it all the time and be like, oh, I can't believe I was able to finish that entire thing. But it's like, I wouldn't call it 
fun exactly? Weird. And it's 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 a weird feeling for me. Satisfying? Fulfilling? Yeah, I mean that's but it's like it's it's weird because you know we're talking about video games and it's like if you're not like having fun with a video game exactly, even if you are very much enjoying it, is it the same thing? What do you call that the same thing? I don't know. It's it's weird. It's it's it's, it's something I think about occasionally where I'm just like I guess that's why I don't really get burnout for stuff in like the same way. Where it's just like burnout for me is just like I um I'm feeling too stressed to make something right now. Not not like anything to do with like I'm no longer enjoying it. It's like I enjoy everything I do. <laughs> a lot. I don't know. I'm I'm a, I'm a real freak. That's I think like the start and end of it. <laughs> In ways that even I can't explain myself. Now then. In the meantime, uh, this is a weirdly introspective episode of uh, Dead Cells. <laughs> that could come from V and you hate video games. I never liked the part of V that hated video games. That was the part of V that I hated. Like, look, here's the thing. 4chan. Oh, well, you know, speaking of being freaks, it's just like, it's just a conglomerate of weirdos and degenerates. And people just having fun with a bunch of dumb bullshit in the way that only shit posting can bring you joy. The part where people actually hated video games I never liked. That was always the most obnoxious part and the reason why I eventually left that place. Because I was just so sick of everybody being like, oh, it's popular, I hate it. So it's like I could not even take it anymore. Just get totally fed up that I couldn't even enjoy people just drawing big, big boob fan art. Which was, of course, the best part about it. Ah. There's my curmudgeony about being curmudgeonly <laughs> bit. <laughs> Back him out. There we go. Big booba. Hey, don't get me wrong. Those art threads on V are still pretty ball, but I guess I wouldn't know. I haven't been there in years. <laughs> At least they were baller last time I saw them. Yeah. Now then. Oh, I would actually. Dare I? No, maybe, no, maybe, no, 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 no. Ah, <sighs> now then. Like, for real, that place is just like a black hole of pessimism. That's even aside from like just the, the offensiveness and other garbage like that, too. I like, there's stuff to like about that website, but so much more to hate. <laughs> ah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> kind of, um,. Fat fingered the uh, start button there. Anyway, I still would like. To be honest, I would still like to go get a mushroom boy if I possibly could. I, I do think that it's just like it works so well with this style of run to just you know, yeah, have enemies like literally bouncing themselves. All social media is a cesspool with a nice layer of Kool Aid. I mean, of course, it's just like you know that is true. But, it, you know, it, it really its the brings out the worst in people, of course, when you're completely anonymous. But, you know, that's the whole thing, where it's just like me with my horrible anxiety and everything. Being completely anonymous is a good thing. But it's like you also get saddled with all the other people that have to be completely anonymous because there's such garbage heaps that they can't fit in anywhere else in the entire Internet. Ah, it's the duality. And I could stand it for many a year, but eventually it got to the point where I'm just like, it's just too annoying. <laughs> I'm too fed up with it. Okay. And there we go. I'm a garbage person. Not in the same way. Trust me on that one. <laughs> it's not the same thing. And okay. And I saw you there. Don't even try and front about this. There we go. And go. Anything else? Oh, invisibility. I, you know what? It's been a little bit, it's been a little bit questionable of a run. I feel like I deserve it. Now then. And now Doc has a community of strange garbage people. Mainly the horny type. And I would have it no other way. 
You say that as if that's something I'm disappointed in. And not something I celebrate every day of my... No, actually, I really don't want to think too much about how many people actually watch me or not. How many bird watchers are here. Because, like, that's just... Uh, I would, I would, I would shut down. <laughs> the Persona 5 style. Yeah, yeah. You're all just texting me, and I can't think of you as actual real people or I would die. I would just die. <laughs> anyway. Okay, just actually, you know what? Yeah, that's where the, the shield comes out to play, baby. And the... Okay. Oh, man, I'm going to have to use another potion charge at this point. Well, good, because I'm a bot. Oh, thank God. <gasps> Wait, you're all bots. The accident was five years ago. You have to stop blaming yourself. <laughs> Wait, why did I say that? Um, anyway. Wake up, Sonny. <laughs> no, no, don't. No, no, I'm not going to. not referencing that. Not here. Okay. Manahe gal face. Good. It's either that or a Pontiac Firebird. Either one I'm I'm I, I find acceptable. As far as representations of myself. I'm doing it. And now I'm going to leave. Now I shall take my leave and hopefully find like I don't know, I would kinda like to just go for a uh, some sort of food stuff around here. I don't think it's gonna happen. He's not going to attack me if he can't see. Oh. Well. And let's do this. Because I want whatever that enemy has down there. Anyway. Yep. Of course, I, it was something that I was absolutely essential. I would no other way. Key and of course, like I said, I would like food, but I don't know. It's like I think I just want to clear on out of here before things get even worse. <laughs> I'm simply a cheese moon. I'm the moon from Noita. Noita's still been getting updates, by the way. I said the last one was the last major one, but they've been doing tiny updates here and there. I'm not to the point where I want to get pulled back into it, but that might that day might come eventually again. <laughs> again. Ah, scroll fragment. I think, especially since I do, I did take the invisibility necklace. It's like I might as well go for like the rest of the scrolls and everything. But I'm not gonna say like it's a great idea. I should probably just leave. <laughs> this is this is what you call questionable plays, but I think it's worth it. Good. Throw that down. Nope. I should have just went for the invincibility rather than going for the parry. That could have turned out real bad, real tragic to say the least. As it is, though. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to leave this as, as such. Oh, <sighs> well, no, it's because it's just casual time. Six hours of chilling, only broken up by 20 minutes of listening to the Super Ghostbusters soundtrack. <laughs> Truly. I mean, to be fair, I think that this has been a pretty casual episode. I kind of saw that coming because, you know, it's like this is just a shield. It's like there's not really too much strategy that you can employ with the... Uh, with the the shield as it exists. But, you know, hey. Still worth doing a showcase on regardless. Do you know Hotline Miami? Of course I do. I've seen a full, uh, several full playthroughs of both Hotline Miami and Hotline Miami 2. That game is a trip. I mean, overall, it's like even before Hotline Miami came out, I uh, would follow Cactus and like what he had been doing. It's like I like his style. Of course, I also just really like the surrealist style entirely. I mean, have you seen me play Puss? <laughs> Big fan. Okay. I should just try and use a shield as much as possible. Why not? This is, after all, a boss that is very well countered by a shield. Or at least should. Risk of Rain 2013. That game is a banging OST. Oh, I mean, even like the Risk of Rain 2 has a banging OST. I'm not going to argue that. Good stuff. But, you know. <laughs> it's also like, man, I'm so frustrated with that game. And also everybody that played that game. And everything about that game. There we go. That was the opportunity that I was looking for. 
baby. Okay, let's actually finish up the fight here. This is obviously not a damage-dealing shield, after all. And then again, I'm still going for the parries anyway now, aren't I? Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, a couple, just a couple more hits should do it. Yeah, <laughs> good stuff. Ah, oh yeah, the rain formerly known as purple. That is a good track. Is that the one I'm thinking of though? I'm not entirely sure. But like, yeah, no, some legit good stuff that you get out of that a game's OST. Ooh woo, ooh woo. <laughs> Why did I say ooh? <laughs> Why am I doing this to myself? Just giving you people sound clips to use later against me. Ah. Ah. The soon to be internal fight between Isaac and Noita. I don't know, man. I I'm like blowing through Isaac. I gotten a lot of stuff done. I mean god, I got a I got a keeper run that was successful, and I almost got a lost run that was successful. We're not gonna be doing seeing too much more of it. Maybe. Ah, dare I. No. <laughs> no, let's, let's go to the castle. Ah. I said blowing through, Isaac. Oh, life is pain. I hate. <laughs> it's been a while, hasn't it? Just got to do that with the statue. <laughs> Still a favorite. And you know what? Hey, get on over here, my dude. I don't really need the crusher. Good old Mushroom Boy, Invisibility. Actually, don't know how invisibility works with Mushroom Boy. Whatever, it's fine. It's probably fine, though. You know what? Just get rid of the invisibility. If I die here, I die. That, as far as I'm concerned, I don't need anything else in this world. I have my Mushroom Boy, and that's all I want. Okay. And then, right here, punch it, and let's go. Ugh, I don't have a family. No, you're my family. You're not my family. Don't don't lie to yourself. I know that's what you wanted me to say, and I wanted you to give that, and I wanted you to make you make you excited for a second, but then I want to wrench it away because that's how my power grows. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, the second guy is my family. <laughs> Can't you tell by all the unresolved sexual tension that we have in each one of the streams? Wow, I'm getting a lot of giant killers. I, I guess I'm not going to argue. <laughs> anyway. Does Doc's family know that he's done, they say uwu to random people in his spare time? I think I, anybody watches this and I know. I tell everybody at like work and everything about these streams and whatnot. And it's like they could just go watch it at any time to see this sort of thing. They don't though. I'm just saying they should. It'd make for some interesting um, uh, uh, office talk the next day. <laughs> It says here that you talked about giant foodacocks for th three hours? Jesus Christ, What? A, did, that's what you do online? I thought you said you played video games. Yeah, <laughs> that is what I said. And that's all you need to know. It's about video games, baby. <laughs> If I ever get fired, I don't know. I mean, I've said before that it's just like, I have gotten a lot of uh, people as of recent in the place that I work that have uh, been leaving or retiring. So maybe we'll be doing full time streaming sooner than I think. Uh, maybe. God knows if it happens, I'm going to try it. <laughs> and go back to like the. Um, uh, April 2020 schedule of just like daily Rain World, daily Darksiders, daily Dead. Well, not daily Dead Cells. Never been daily Dead Cells. I usually try and put too much effort into these things. I know, not this episode. You don't really see that, but usually, I think. The, uh, I think the beginning of the episode was a pretty good look at like everything related to the weapon and everything like that. But you know, that whole thing. And your office slowly decreasing in size? Yep, it sure is. It's like, I don't know if that means me, 
but I am the youngest person working in my particular part of the office. And, you know, uh, yeah, that, no, that's it. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I'm the person that was hired the most recently. Dark Side is good? Yeah, I liked it a lot. I, I, I had a lot of fun with that game, to be honest. It's a, it is a big old comic book of a game, but it is, like, genuinely pretty fun, and the gameplay is solid. I hear the, the second game actually gets even better, but I, of course, was only commissioned to play the first one. I wouldn't be opposed to sec checking out the second one, though. Looks so generic. Uh, it, it, you know, in some ways it kind of is, but, like, I think it's, I think it still is a, a lot of fun to play. Good stuff. Love Slugcat so much. Man, Slugcat had a hard life. What a weird ending to that game, too. I don't want to spoil it if you haven't seen it, but it's just like, oh boy. It's not what you would expect. It's not what you expected. Not at all what you ex would ex expect out of the... Especially considering, like, the beginning of the game. It goes in such a... Well, play it yourself. Ah. Uh, no, nah. nah, nah, I like Jack. Darksiders is a poor man's God of War. I like I like it better than God of War. Straight up. I, I like the setting. I like the, the characters more. And even and War is like he's not even the good character. Like that's death in in Darksiders too. But you know, it's like I still I still had more fun with him than I ever did with uh with Kratos. Didn't expect Rain World had a story. Oh boy, does it have a. It's, it is one of those stories that you gotta search for, but there's like actually quite a bit of lore in that game if, if you wanna search it out. It's way, again, way weirder than you might think it would be. <laughs> Cause it's like the opening to the game is very simple compared to what it eventually turns into. Hollow Knight-like story? I, yeah, you know what? I would actually say Hollow Knight's not even a bad comparison. There are, there are certainly things, there are certainly parallels, uh, ah, uh, parallels uh, that you can make between Hollow Knight and Rain World, like in a couple different ways. <laughs> well, anyway, yeah, <laughs> BG Gritty Zelda, uh, not quite. It's it's more God of War, God of War style. It's got that. It's got more of that feeling to it. I got a full series on it. If you want to go check it out. <laughs> I guess that would probably be, like, you could you could just check that out, too, start to end. <laughs> anyway. Like, yo, it's a legit game, though. Love Dead Cells, can get in Hollow Knight. It's a very different type of game. I mean, those games came out at roughly the same time back in 2017, which is why it gets a lot of comparisons. But I think they're, they're, they're two very different styled games. Yeah. Ah, own Dark Siders three. I haven't played it yet. I've only ever played the first one, and like I said, that was uh, that was the game I was commissioned to play. I enjoyed it, but I wasn't like you know, hey, I gotta go play like every other game by this uh, creator. <laughs> you know, like I did with um, basically Environmental Station Alpha. Even unwittingly, I didn't even realize that it, Baba as you was made by the same person at first. Twenty-seven stats beforehand of the king. Yeah, it's not the best. It's not the worst though either. What outfit am I wearing right now? I don't, uh, I don't know. The new God of War? Oh, I mean, yeah. I, I've heard nothing but good stuff about the new God of War. But, you know, that's also like one of those things where they took it in a very different direction. So, it's like, it's hard to even compare the two, really. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Mushroom Boy. I thought I was using the... Whoops. It's okay, though. He's, he's fine. I, I actually meant to um, use the shield, but for some reason, the... Uh, button for use Mushroom Boy. And I did it again. Gah. 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 That's what I was trying to do. Because it's just like, you know. See? Like, this shield is quite good for this fight. Unfortunately, you know, coming in here with no potion charges or anything, it's, uh... Not working out the best for me, if I'm being real with you. Okay. <sighs> Told you to explode him. That was by accident, though. That was not an intentional explosion. 
should have tried to get the scorpion to fall on top of the hand. That would have been fun. Go! That's what I was trying to do. Uh oh, uh oh. I'm alive. I'm a Running out of charges on the shield, but it's working out just fine. Yeah, I shouldn't need to worry too much about... Nice! Ah! Ooh, clutched that one right there. Gamer mode, yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. But hey, the, like legit, maybe more than anything else, the shield is amazing against the Hand of the King. It's like that was that was a pretty good example of just how much you can get out of that sort of invincibility. Not perfect, needless to say, but it's just like, ah, you, you saw the, the Telluric shock? The invincibility was just amazing there. Honestly, I should just end the game at this point. I only have 8% health. <laughs> ah, well, let's just keep getting on with it. Blocks your back too? Oh yeah, no, it, it is like an invincibility bubble all around you. It's it's not just blocking from the front or anything. As long as you got that shield held out, it's it's everything. Well, let's see how this goes. <laughs> I gotta say, uh, I'm gonna give it the old college try, but I'm not gonna promise anything to say the least. Cause it's like, yeah, yeah. Like, what, what, what more do I even need to say? Finds a melon. The run continues. I mean, I might. I mean, there is a food shop in here now. They have made that consistent. Ah, we'll see. Oh God, why? Okay, man. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm alive. I'm alive for the time being. Probably not for too much longer. Brag. <laughs> Brag again. Oh, no. Yep. No, this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I will donate $100 if you win. Oh, no. I didn't even get to see that. I died too quick. <laughs>